Hey guys, here we are the, about to finish up the first week of July and a lot of people are getting the peas in the ground whether you call them black eyed peas, purple holes, crowder peas, whatever you call them uh, I plant purple holes but the same thing applies to most any type of bean or pea uh, in regard to fertilizer uh, you don't want to put a lot of nitrogen on these things uh, as long as you give them a decent amount when they're first planted uh, as far as side dressing, I usually don't, um, and I'll show you why right here. This is a volunteer uh, purple hole from last year, and you can see how big this thing is right here. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this vine right here and pull it up so you can see just how big one vine is, and this is what you get when you get uh, too much fertilizer. Right here on the end of the road where the corn is, when I uh, fertilized the corn a couple of times, side dressed it, because corn needs a lot of nitrogen, all that washes down the end of the row and fed this uh, pea plant right here and made this thing absolutely huge. And this is what you don't want to have. You don't want to end up with a great big old vine uh, when it comes to peas and beans. You want the peas, the beans itself, not the vine. So I'm going to cut this thing and show you just how big this is. That is one pea plant right there. One plant. That's what you don't want to have. One plant that absolutely dominates uh, everything else around it with the vines and you don't get enough peas for what you, uh, what you should be getting. So I'm going to show you what one should look like. That one right there is just way too big. That's what nitrogen will do to a pea plant. Alright, this is one little plant. Might be two in there that uh, came up on the outside of the beans right here. Uh, you can see looking at my beans in the background they are not overly large. They got fertilized when I first planted them and that was it. They never got side dressed after that. They made a ton of uh, snaps in there. Matter of fact the uh, road next to the corn I don't think we ever even got it picked. It's just we had too many of them. But as you can see look at the peas coming out the top of this plant right here. This is what you want to have. You want to have something to eat uh, unless you're raising vines for goats and things like that uh, don't don't overdo the fertilizer and nitrogen on your peas and beans I'm gonna cut this one right here off just for comparison that's a whole lot better right there look at the peas on this thing so I'm going to go lay this one on the ground beside that first plant. There goes one of them leaf-footed stink bugs. So I'll lay this on the ground and you'll be able to see the difference. And also, you see this one didn't get as much fertilizer so it's already made peas whereas the other plant was doing nothing but vining and giving a few peas. Now, can you see the difference in those two vines? The one on the left has a lot of peas on it very little foliage, the one on the right a lot less peas and a whole lot more vine so when you plant your peas and beans uh, get them fertilized, try to get them uh, going good from the start and then if you see that the vines are turning yellow and you know they're dying off you might need to little, add a little fertilizer to them but for the most part uh, it takes very little nitrogen uh, once these things get going